today I'm going to be creating a lilac moment as you saw in the beginning of the video. I just want to play with some makeup and I'm also going to be showing you some of my high-end favourite products too. But before we jump into the products I wanted to show you some silk bits that I've been loving. Let me know if you guys have tried silk clothing or uh, bedding before. I'm really curious to know but I've personally been loving it especially this top. This video is partly sponsored by Lily Silk and I just want to put a disclaimer out there that I only work with brands and promote products that I love and I genuinely feel like you guys should try and I just want to share with you guys. Now this top is actually from Lily Silk and at Lily Silk you can find all types of quality silk products such as bedding, pyjamas, uh, pillowcases, you know beautiful tops like these now this top in particular i just love because it literally looks like a pajama or like you can wear at home or you can even like wear it with like you could style it up with a pencil skirt or like high-waisted trousers and it just like glams up your look it's just so versatile i have tried their pillowcases which oh my god i love and I also have some scrunchies for them which are the cutest thing ever. And the reason why silk is so good is because it has so many benefits for your skin and your hair. Um, it's antibacterial, it absorbs moisture so that when you're wearing silk uh, clothing and or if you're like sleeping in silk bedding, you don't like sweat as much. It also helps to promote sleep and it's so so unbelievably soft guys. It just feels so luxurious, like I just literally, like, Silk bedding is just goals at this point because it just feels amazing and it helps to also regulate temperature so that you're sleeping in like the best temperature possible. Now the pillowcases are actually 100% mulberry silk. They have no toxic additives and like I said it's really beneficial for your hair, it has anti-aging properties and yeah it's just overall a really nice product. Do you know what it reminds me of? Like I remember watching um carpool karaoke uh with james gordon and bruno mars and he's just like silk is like the best thing to wear and uh, i feel like he lives in silk um it's just so breathable and hygienic it's one of the most hygienic um fabrics out there yeah i've just been in love i wanted to share that with you guys definitely check them out i'll put my code here so you can get 15 percent off everything at lily silk which is a huge huge bargain and yeah let me know what you guys think let's jump into the makeup okay so the first thing that i'm going to be using is the refi brow sculptor i literally just bl brushed the gel through my eyebrows and it comes with a brush as well this is like one of my go-to brow products. It is so good. It's definitely more on the high-end side, I would say. And then I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty Brow MVP pencil in the shade Black Brown. I just fill in any like gaps. I don't really do it neatly. I just like do random strokes. Every time I look at how my, I did my brows before, I cringe because they're just so like blocky and like so blocky guys there's no other way to explain them and like now i just like them to be just so effortless and natural looking i know sometimes like it can look a bit weird when you push them really up so i've i've tried to find a balance yeah i just literally feel them roughly if you want them to be like extra like defined you can also carve them out i'm just going to leave them as they are then i'm going to use some of my Too faced born this way concealer this is like one of my favorite favorite concealers obviously my tarte shape tape is another one but i feel like i use it in every single one of my videos i'm just going to put this all over my lid I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. I love this palette so much. It's such a versatile palette. You have like your everyday kind of colours and some like colourful bright shades in there too. I'm going to go for the shade Amethyst which is like a bright purple and I'm just going to buff that onto the outer corner. If you guys didn't know, purple is actually my favourite colour. Not purple, but like lilac more specifically. I love lilac so much. Anyways, I'm just really packing this on the outer corner and slightly kind of like dragging it out. And I'm using the slightest pressure. I'm just going to take this shade Desert Sand right here. And I'm just going to blend this, these edges out. Guys, if you want like a step-by-step -step, like in-depth, easy like eyeshadow tutorial like let me know because 
I feel like eyeshadow is, doesn't have to be so hard. I don't know if you guys remember these Huda Beauty Matte and Metal eyeshadows. Oh my god, they're so good. And I'm going to be using the shade Diamond Drip today. And literally the easiest thing ever. And honestly, this is literally the easiest thing ever. I just take the shimmer side and I just put this all over. You can even do an easy cut crease with these. Like, I literally just take my finger and dab between the matte shade and the shimmer so that there's a nice kind of like smooth trans transition between the two and not just like an awkward line. And then you can take the brush that you use the, the purple shade with. I mean, it's just beautiful. I don't want to take away from the shadow, so I'm not going to do a wing liner. I thought I was, but I'm not going to do it. I'm happy with the, the shadow like the way it is. But I'm going to use some of the Huda Beauty double liner. Um, I'm just going to use a crayon side. And just really smoke out that waterline. Even like my lower waterline. I think this is like one of my go-to high-end highlight uh, eyeliners. Because it's so long wearing. And the, the liquid liner on this is so, so black. And also, one of my top mascaras is the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. I'm gonna curl my lashes as always. This lash curl is from Hourglass. It's so, so good. And I'm gonna first use the volume side. I mean, look at the difference. My eyes look so, like, wispy. And then I'm gonna use the curl side. And we're just gonna really push that out and this really separates like each lash today for foundation i'm going to be using my anastasia luminous foundation this is in the shade 345c it's so good it's also really really hydrating and that's what my skin needs obviously i'm going to take some of my Too faced born this way concealer do you know the other day, me and my friend, we went to Boots and we, she wanted to get one of these concealers but like literally all the makeup counters don't have like the testers available anymore. I wonder when like they'll make the decision to like remove that. I'm just blend it on the bridge of my nose and the center, just like the center of my face. Okay, now we need to set that in place. One, like my two high-end favorite powders at the moment is the Laura Mercier setting powder and the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flores Finish powder. This is in the shade medium. I do have so many others, but I really have to choose here, okay? But these are the ones that I always reach for mostly. It's so good, guys. I'm even making a dent in it. That's how much I use it. But it just like, it just mattifies. It does its job and it just looks so flawless i'm just gonna put a bit more of the shade amethyst from the palette um under my eyes mascara on the lower lashes as always okay like my top bronzers are the charlotte tilbury airbrush bronzer glowish by huda beauty bronzer in the shade three is like a new addition but it's so good but i've used it in a few of my videos already and obviously the fenty beauty bronzer is like bomb caramel cutie is like the perfect shade for me i want to use the charlotte tilbury one today but i've used this so much a little bit on the nose i'm so rough with my nose contour i just literally put a bit of color because we're having a lilac moment, I'm going to go for the Fenty Beauty Cream Cheeks Out um, Blusher. Obviously, I feel like it, when it comes to high-end brands, I think my top ones are Huda Beauty, Fenty Beauty, Charlotte Tilbury. Like, those are my top three for sure. Anyways, I'm just going to use my finger and we're just going to blend this purple out. Oh my god, it matches my eyeshadow. Oh my god, it's just so pretty. Oh, I love this blush. And then for lips, I'm going to take the Gold Digger Cream Lipstick by Huda Beauty. And the Lip Contour 2 in... This is in the shade Rich Brown. This is the shade Gold Digger. I'm actually going to take the matte side of the matte and metals eyeshadow. This is in the shade Wednesday. I 
just to bring a bit of that lilacness in. Ew, I like it. I like it. I like it. Anyways, guys, this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check out Lily Silk. I'll leave my link in the info box. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys tried silk before? If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button because it really helps your girl out. And I will see you in my next video.